everybody it's friday it's, it's friday. friday it's finally finally friday countdown to, to the, the weekend. weekend oh wait we should say welcome we to, to the, the weekend, weekend. <laughs> we are here and ready to go we are excited about what we're going to bring to you today but before we begin first we have to have a few words of promotional consideration from our sponsors this broadcast to you broadcast is brought to you in part by today's sponsors all right today's sponsors okay Corey. You know how this works. We struggle sometimes, but let's get started with today's sponsors. Fingers crossed. Uh, oh, so by the way, guys, you know, we have sponsors now. We're very excited about that. Oh, my goodness. Okay, here it is. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, you know what? I was supposed to restart the video. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, new sponsors this week, returning sponsors this week. Supreme sponsors, David and Christine Brooks. Reigning champs, they are back. New sponsor, Tawana Harris. T-shirt, Tawana. T-shirt, Tawana, thank you. Fancy sponsor, AJ is... AJ. <laughs> new sponsor, My Vivid Life. Check out her YouTube channel. Put on your black dress. You know what? You or your company can become a sponsor. Visit blindguyhiswife.com. All right, guys. Thank All you right. so much. All right, Corey, where do we go from here? We've thanked our sponsors. Is this where we start the show? It's Friday. Let's get it started. Let's go. Let's go. Let's start the show. It's another episode of a blind guy. It's white. 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 Hey guys, welcome to the weekend. I'm Corey the Blind Guy. His wife, Laquita Marie. Together we're letting you into our life as we expose you or show, introduce you to fabulous people that we have met through our personal and professional journeys. Today is no exception to the rules. If you have parts of your life like education, business, or you have some kind of interest that you're trying to fund, but you're looking for creative ways to fund that money, never fear. A grant expert is here today to share with you how you can get down with OPP. OPP. Other people's philanthropy. All right. Just making sure we got it, you know, G-rated Friday. G-rated Friday. Yeah, we <laughs> keep it G-rated. So today we have to, we're going to bring in to you our grant expert that we have on here today. We have Miss Mariam Adepoju. She's going to come in and say hello Let's to everybody. Let's say hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. <laughs> thank right, you Mary, so much I'm, for having me. Uh, yes. Thank you. For thank coming. you. I'm going to try it, Mary. Good. That was good morning in Europe, right? right? Yes. Yes. This and it's morning here. over here. So. <laughs> oh, yes. It is morning there as well. <laughs> now, this is going to be an amazing show because you are bringing the best topic. You're all about money today. So you're going to tell us about, you know, how to get free money, not just money, but free money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So um, do I go ahead and introduce myself again? Well, not yet, because, you know, we don't mm -hmm. want to give away all the secrets. So in just a minute, after we say hello to you, we'll say hello to our audience members and we'll have you back to give us all the secrets. OK. OK. That sounds great. Thank All you. right. See you soon. All, All right. right. So can't wait to get this great information from Mariam. And of course, you have to, you guys know this broadcast is member supported by viewers like you. you. What does that mean? Get on the team, the blind guy, his wife, home team. And you can start by bum rushing the button. Hit the thumbs up, guys. That's all you have to do to make this a great stream. As Miriam always say, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Share it on your social networks. Share it in your church groups. Share it with your friends, your social networks, your sororities, your fraternities. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Especially about this. If you know people that are looking to fund their education or their business with some grant funding, tell, share this information with them right now so they can jump on board and hear all the advice that Miriam has. They can also be part of the, the Blind Guy, His Wife, Their Life home team by going to blindguyhiswife.com. We've got the ticker scrolling right there at the bottom of the screen so that you can see the website there. Now, this is a simple site we created just for the YouTube channel, which means it has all of the information that you need to find out like what we're doing, when we're doing it, and all of those good things. When you head on over there, 
that's where you can find out what exactly is happening. Say, for example, if you're trying to figure out uh, who's on the show this week, what's happening, I'll share the screen with you because the schedule is right there. That means that you can see the calendar right there on one side. Now, if you're on mobile, it'll look a little different, but either way, you can click on the calendar so that you can see who's on this week, who are the sponsors. So we have our, oh, Tawana Bro David and Christine Brooks, Tawana Harris, mm -hmm. AJS Road Tripping, my, my, live, my Vivid Life. So you can see all of those things there as well as just click to watch the show. This is another way to get to the episode if you're like, man, I'm not on YouTube. What's their channel name? Go to blindguyhiswife.com. So of course, so you can check out our, uh, what do you call it, Corey? Home team. Jerseys, our home team jerseys. <laughs> we have our merchandise line. We have some fabulous t-shirts. You can get a hump day to Friday shirt like we're wearing today. You can get an all the way live t-shirt or you can get a WTF, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Weekend countdown shirt. That's <laughs> they can be your home team jersey. And if you buy one, make sure you take a picture of yourself rocking that gear. And if there's other items that you'd like to see in our merch store, just send it to us and give us a send us an email at admin at blindguyhiswife.com. Absolutely. And we will work on getting that merch in the store just for you guys. Now you do know that uh on our site, you can also support the stream. We have our sponsors because they visited there. So of course, if you just wanna do a one-time sponsorship, you can scroll on up and look at this section where it says, buy me a coffee, support. Just click the green coffee cup, like Bernie Mac said. Clink, 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 clink. <laughs> when you click the green coffee cup, it does open you a widget. You can choose one coffee, three coffee, five coffees, or you can type in our favorite, Corey's been blind 25 years this year, so we always type in 25 because we have our hashtag 25 for 25 goal campaign goal so that we have goals that we're reaching and you're a part of that, guys. So you can always do a one-time uh, tip jar donation because this is like a virtual tip jar, or right? Super chat if you, uh, you, you follow the YouTube live streams. Absolutely. So you can scroll around, see who else has bought coffees and all of those good things. Or if you'd like to sponsor, just scroll a little bit further and the information is right there. There's a button where you can click. It'll take you right to sponsorship page. And there's a video that shows you how to get it done. Corey, where do we go next? Sneak peek, sneak peek at the plant-based treat. Oh, sneak peek at the plant-based treats. Always trying to get you guys to eat more fruits and vegetables. And we're not trying, we're hearing great results. You guys are reporting to us that, look, I'm eating this, I'm eating that. You're getting your whole grains in. It's a beautiful thing because, you know, we all want to not just live long, but live well. So here's a sneak peek at a very popular uh, plant-based treat. So we always show this one. Well, not always, but often. I would think it would be bland and no taste at all, but this is very, has a great flavor. I mean, what spices did you use? I mean, eat. <laughs> All right. Our cheesy mac, our broccoli mac. That's the plant based treat for today. So stick around. We'll share that we with you at the end of the week. show. That was really good. Yeah, I did. I cooked it yesterday or the day before. I can't remember. We eat a lot. I cook a lot. Let's jump into the comments and see who came cannonball and into the comments this morning. Oh, sure. Definitely. Let's see who's in here today. Corey, the chat is popping. It is Friday. And guess who's first? Wow. Mr. Music Man himself. Hunty Boy, David Hunt, all the way up there in Massachusetts. Yes, you know what? He is first. Nope, nobody beat you. Look, he's talking about, wait, Philip Waldo Jr., you beat me fair and square, except, haha, -ha, I'm here and you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Man, God, so he's talking about, so I'll just keep typing. Man, I missed you too this morning, David. Let me tell you. Woo, guys, David changed his schedule. He has a new live show schedule. I'm still on the old schedule. I keep missing it. I'm going to reset my alarm. Morning We're... meditations with, yeah, with Hunty Boy himself. Go check out his YouTube channel. Yeah, live music, guys. Free music, live music, good music. And then he also talks to you at the end. So it's it's really cool. I'm still waiting for him to get up there on Friday and sing, I guess I should have known by the way you popped your car sideways and wouldn't dance. <laughs> you know what? Uh, David Hunt, since he is a first place pony, you know, we know that you guys always want first place bragging rights. So we'll see. We'll get into the hashtag because he's talking trash. It's good to be here since I'm active. I'll claim the hashtag first place pony. Boom. <laughs> 
Hey, look who we've got. Beautiful eyes is at work with listening in. El Guapo. El Guapo in the house. Thanks for coming on, El Guapo. Another channel, guys. And this is a man's channel where he's a guy, um, he's a professional. He's teaching you about music. He's not just teaching you. He's talking with you. He's hanging out. He's doing all the things that men like to do, like men, men. He's um, like, when I say men, men, not like an 18 or 20 year old, but what, what would you say, Corey? How would you put it? He's seasoned. He's seasoned. He's a businessman. He's man. a veteran at manhood. He's successful. Yeah, he's about to get married. He's just, and he, he takes great care of his children. So yeah, check him out. Oh, he's about to get married? Yeah. I got your wedding song for you, El Guajo. Let me switch to the next <laughs> comment. Coach Remy. Coach Remy says. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> you know what? He's always, anyways. Coach El Remy was taking him for a flight on a Hornet one day, right? El Wapo, right? Oh, yeah. right, yeah. mm -hmm. yep, right? El Wapo was a pilot. So <laughs> there you go. Coach Remy says, Happy Friday, wonderful people. Coach Remy goes live 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. So, hey, Coach Remy, work out all the way in Belgium. Yeah, we've been getting fit with the home fit community. So go check him out. He's usually first. David Hunt is saying, Hey, Coach Remy. And then he's talking trash. Uh, <laughs> talking about getting to the live, saving lives. Mm -hmm. Hey, Abby Stalker Mom, speaking of fitness. Hey, Abby eh, 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 Stalker Mom. She's saying happy Friday to all. Y'all know you got to check her channel out. Bless up, bless up. She's an island girl. All giving you in Jamaica. Yes, giving you fitness, giving you meditation, giving you good stuff. So everybody's in there chatting it up. And of course, um, D David Hunt is saying, it's the F to the WTF, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Ah, I like that, David. <laughs> yes. So, of course, everybody's in there chatting it up. But guess who's in here from the from the West Coast? Uh, it's a it's a it's it's an educator. Corey. Riley. Mr. Riley's world is in the house. Yeah, yeah. You know, Phil is in there shouting him out. So. Riley, Riley, Riley. Yeah, well, Mr. Riley is him. Riley Mr. Riley is, is, the a, is the wife. Mr. Riley, you deliver my message to your sons. Hit them hard and hit them often. And if they get up, hit them again. Oh, yeah. He's another got sons playing college football out there. Yep. Another guy doing tech things and college things with his sons. Um, I think his last son is still in high school or graduating this year, but he covers it all. Oh, man. Abby says she just got uh, just got a bite. I hope that doesn't mean a bug bite. Oh. I mean, she needs something to eat. Oh, I hope so. But she said, sigh. I just got a bite, sigh. Oh, okay. All so, right. so I think maybe she meant that snippet. Maybe she's fishing. Oh, who knows? <laughs> I don't know. But uh, Desimeria says, it's, wow, I made and found a chat box. Yay. Hey. But this is Destiny's com uh, computer that she's, so she's letting me borrow it. All right. Definitely so, coming on in into the house. Yeah, so good to have you here. Wow. That's Whitney O'Neill Williams. Wow. Check wow out. She's got to steal the computer from the kids, but do what you got to do, you know? Share with Love TV. Hey Share there. Share with Love TV, another, another Nigerian in the house. Yes. Oh, good. That's true. Mary is a Nigerian. Share with Love TV is a Nigerian, but you got to go to her channel if you want to find out what she's doing over there. We also have Synovia. What Supernova is Supernova in the house. You already know. Supernova, uh, Sup Synovia says, greetings to my favorite family, friends, and special guests. So, you know, Share What Love TV is in there saying greetings to you all. And look who's here, Alicia Miller. Hey there. Hey, Alicia Miller. We have missed you. I'm glad you jumped back into the comments. Glad to see you here again today. Yes, always good to see you. Thanks for being here. Alicia, Alicia's here and Kimbo. Kimbucha is here as well. All right, Kimbucha. Now, Kimbucha is saying happy Friday, everyone. So uh, she's a content creator, but she does not Japanese anime, but she's like a character. Go over there and look. She has like, if you watch anime, she dresses up like, and not dresses up because it's sort of like. Um, oh, Chia. Yeah, and she's in here saying, well, well, look who it is. Coffee Talking Tech. She's in there chatting it up with him as well. Because uh -oh. he's saying, hello, everyone. Coffee <laughs> Talking Tech. I was watching him last night. He had a great stream on how to get a budget mic. If you guys are trying to figure out how to get an affordable microphone, if you're trying to figure out how not to buy one microphone that you think is two and it only has one in the box, but you spent over $100 on it. And then another microphone that you spent over $100 on and then it still didn't work. And then another microphone that you're currently using, that's the one that works. Mm -hmm. And then other microphones that are off camera. Let me tell you, this stuff adds up. Just go check out that stream, guys. Do we feel some kind of way? I feel some kind of way. <laughs> <laughs> so
So yes, everybody's in here chatting it up, and Coffee Talking Tech is here for it. He's down with OPP. Uh oh, Coffee Talks down. I hope I hope that is there a Mrs. Coffee Talk because you need to explain that one before she comes <laughs> reading over your shoulder. <laughs> Let's go ahead and make that the hashtag. Hashtag OPP. OPP. Other all, people's philanthropy. Yes, all you have to do is put into the chat. No dots. No, yeah, no dots. He doesn't have dots either. Mm -hmm. So. Hashtag OPP for other people's pocketbook or other people's philanthropy, because that's what today's show is all about. Miriam Adepoju, is, she has a channel, Adepoju, excuse me. She has a channel that right now is on and popping with OPP. That's where she's telling us how to get grants, how to apply for grants, if they're valid or not. The lady is amazing. And so she's here to talk with us about that today. So they're getting that into the chat. Of course, Phil is shouting everybody out because he's a wonderful moderator, always greeting everyone. PWJ in the house. Yeah, so, you know, everybody's chatting it up with each other. And then, of course, we've got, um, who is this in here? Let's see. I saw another comment from, oh, David Hunt says he's doing good. We already know you're doing good, David Hunt, but I know he's chatting it up with them. Um, oh, that's what it was. I saw Phil say, hello, beautiful eyes, talking to El Guapo. That's yeah, what it Guapo. was. Yeah. So Deshaun Coleman, I did not get your package, but that's because I have to check. I have to actually go check it. Um, I'm slacking. Let me Deshaun do that today. Coleman, DC in the house. <laughs> Thanks for being here today. Thank you for sending that as well. I'll make sure I go get it. Uh, I, I did get a notification. So yes, now that things are, have slowed down towards the end of the week, we can do that. Thank you, David, for dropping that link in there. He's got the website. So, hey, guys, head on over there and share that with a friend. Yeah, buy me a coffee and get, to, get your home team jersey. Yes. Well, you know, Mr. Riley's world is off today. I told you he's an educator, but he has no students today. So he is watching from the classroom. Riley, Mr. Riley's world out there. Mr. Riley, if you need some students, especially as students, we got PWJ. We got David Hunt. We got, you know, if he comes in trash can, we, we got a whole slew of folks for you that's just waiting for you to teach him. You know what? We're <laughs> going to we're going to get into this first giveaway because uh, David Hunt is dropping all the links to get all the things. So thank you. I appreciate that. And he's actually planning because we can't let his job know that he's not working for Mr. Riley's World. Uh, so we have one of our sponsors here today. My Vivid Life. My Vivid Life. My, 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 my Vivid Life. <laughs> <laughs> Show looks good tonight. How you gonna sing about another lady and I'm sitting right here? I'm about to mix it up for you. Oh, put on your black dress on her channel. She has a video. Check her I out in that black on dress. High heels. <laughs> And some of that sweet perfume. And she has great content as well, guys, especially the one about a living will or a will for, you know, get a will now. She has a professional on there giving you all the details of what we've got to do. Because while it's cool to look at her in a black dress, we don't want to be the one that can't see her in a black dress when she's coming to our, you know, commencement or final final rights or what have you. TLA said it looks good on you. Hey, Kahinde. <laughs> we got Kahinde Kenny in the house saying All hi. All right, come on in. Come on into the house. Make sure you smash that like button. Yes. Oh, David had a watermelon and a banana today so far. Good, good, good. Watermelon. Right, They're in season. Our guest today always has watermelon and ginger, so that's great. And we also have... Um, uh, Kehinde saying, yay, good to see you, Miriam. So that is good. I'm telling you, this macaroni is great. And Abby Stalker mom says she does cook every day. It was a teaser, right? So J.A. Smith, so nice to have you here. J.A. in the house. Thanks for joining us. Absolutely. Talking about, look at that delicious, yummy food. And the whole food was, the whole plate was plant-based. Those are plant-based meatballs and everything. So, okay. Some of them say I be comfy mash up and trying up to them. No, no, she want business for my Hold on a second. Uh, Desmira has had honeydew, watermelon, pineapple, grapes, and peaches. So Corey's phone is ringing. You know he can't see, so his phone talks. So he's trying to cut it off, but it has to tell him, like, you know, here's the here's the number that's calling. So great to see some familiar faces here as well. That's J.A. Smith. He was on last night streaming with Coffee Talk and Tech. All right. So yeah, go check them out, guys. We've got so many great content creators here. Let's see. 
Um, look, K Handy, it's good to have you as part of the show. Let's see who's already put Hashtag in OPP. Yes. Oh, thank you. Abby says we have an amazing channel. You know, Corey, I saw trash can waves in there, but I also see Miss B Finesse. B Finesse in the house, another educator. Yes, she is an educator. She's got her she's master's. An educator, in... a child regulator. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's taught from K to 12 through 12. So there he is. He's talking about well, CP time fam. But All right. still acceptable timekeeping. Trash can, you may be late. You may be way past being on time, but you here. <laughs> <laughs> so good. My Vivid Life has a new video coming out soon. And uh, Trash Can Waves is, is just chatting up with everybody. Hashtag OPP. We got to get this first place pony drawing going so we can okay. jump right into this OPP money that Miss Mary Matapojo is going to tell us about today. Let's do it. Let's do it. You want to get her in here to help us? Um, no, we'll leave it backstage. Right? All right. Because, uh, you know, those mics do pile up quick. Let me tell you, we got so many. Oh, my goodness. David Hunt has it in. Okay. Everybody has it in. It looks like. Um, and Trash Can't Wave said so he fell asleep editing, so he decided to break his video up into three parts. Check his channel out, guys. Yeah. He has wonderful con content about cars, how to get your waves deep like his. That is the top of his head in that icon. That's how deep his waves are. So, okay, everybody has their uh, OPP in there. And WoW is saying, yeah, you know me. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go. Oh, T-shirt Tawana, get your OPP in there. T-shirt Tawana. Oh, the first right. to buy one of the home team jerseys from my merch store. So you got all the way live with it. Yes. Trash Can Waves won the first place pony twice yesterday. So we're going to see who won wins. First place pony once. He won both drawings, though. Yeah. So uh, thank you so much, Beautiful Eyes. Uh, he's listening in, he says. But XDMC is in here. X -ip 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 -mc. Make sure you get it in there. Uh, hashtag OPP. It's really easy today. JP, get it in there. JP, the aspiring matriarch. Come yes. on in. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Smash that like button on your way in, guys. Yeah, she does some great live streams, guys, where you can get on the panel, talk about topics. She had a great one on mental health recently, and me and another YouTuber were on there. Um, we got into a spat, then we made up, and then, oh, it was so much fun. But you got to go over there to see. That's all I can tell you is, you know, the, the uh, details. And, of course, as a great moderator, she she got us all the way together. JP was like, not on my watch. Mm -hmm. So anyways, Corey, let's see. How do we do it? Because uh, we don't want to charge. We don't want to shortchange trash can waves. He won twice yesterday. How do you get it started so that we hit the start button? I do my Kentucky, Kentucky Derby <laughs> announcement voice. Ready? Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to, welcome to the blind guy, his wife, their life, first place pony drawing. All the jockeys are in position behind the gate saying, bring, they're off. All right, Tawana, Mr. Riley, Blue, trash can waves. David Hunt, coffee talking tech, Kahindi, Mr. Riley, Blue, Jay. how did Miriam get in there? There's a mirror, my favorite life, David Hunt, Tawana, Coach Raymond, Kahindi, Mary. J.A. Smith, Tawana Harris, XDMC. XDMC, sneaking in for the win. <laughs> oh, man. Look at here. E -B -E -B -D -MC okay. is a champion, my friend. Wow, the men are dominating this week. Mr. Riley's World is back. Mr. I saw your name flash through there, Mr. Riley's World, but you did not win today. Don't Darn. worry. We have a second drawing with Miss Miriam Adepoju is going to be helping us with that <laughs> one. So stay tuned and get ready for another hashtag as we move forward. <laughs> so guys, we are going to get our guest in here because you guys are just cutting up. You know how Miss B Finesse is street walking, like walking the kids. Uh -huh. So uh, she says she's running errands today, according to Phil. Uh -huh. Desimira says it's rigged. You know how these people <laughs> do. Um, but you know what? We got a congrats from My Vivid Life, Coffee Talking Tech. And look at Mr. Riley's world. XDMC always wins. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can't be sore losers. It's Friday. We're about to get free money. It, it gets no better than that. Wait, what a trash can say? He keep it on him. What is that? A picture of a wrench, some bones. I, oh, I think it's a wrench. And I can't tell. Let me say these computer emojis are weird. And so I can't even identify them. But hey, he keeps it on him. Oh, okay. Miss B Finesse runs too. She doesn't just street walk. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I know it's not rigged, but hey, uh, Trash Can Wave says, I think I got an hour left of story time. I have to break up this first one. So he's over there editing. Let's get our guest in here. So that way 
she can tell us about this free money that all of us creators can get. And we can tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. No street walking. We just want to tell them to get this cash. <laughs> <laughs> today's, today's future guest is a special guest. <laughs> Bill's about to block everybody. He's got the range. Today's, special guest, today's future guest is a very special guest indeed. She is here in the United States by way of Nigeria, and she has been building her family legacy with her different business ventures, her education. Her and her husband are doing great things and making great power moves. She's also been with, able to share share all the gifts that she has acquired by creating a YouTube channel that makes sure that she's getting information out to us so that we can grow as well. This lady gives out more gifts than Santa Claus has in the, the, the hundreds of years of the untruth of his story. <laughs> <laughs> this lady gives out more sweet ideas than the Easter Bunny has ever and has ever given at one time, or that you could ever collect when you're going trick or treating. This lady's ideas are more magnificent than any treasures you could find in any of the pyramids in Africa. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for today's featured guest. She's going to show us how to get down with that OPP, other people's pocketbooks. It's time for Mariam Arepoju. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, oh. Thank you for having me. So my name is Mariam. I am a wife, a mom, a student, an entrepreneur. <laughs> a wife, a mom, a student. Wait a minute. You know you have so many titles. We got to slow it down because, first of all, Desamiria is like, woohoo. Ooh, they're just happy about your intro you know a wife a mom did you say a student i thought you just finished your master's are you back yes. in school yes i just graduated but i'm studying <laughs> at the same time i'm still studying i'm wow. a lifelong student yeah <laughs> nice okay so okay keep going a wife a mom a student an entrepreneur a fashion designer and a youtuber a content creator and I also, you know, um, I have a passion for helping people um, find opportunities, especially when it comes to funding for their businesses. And this was, I mean, I was inspired by um, people when I when I see people share their success stories on how they, I mean, on how they got grants, they were able to get some um, funding opportunities, but they don't share the process, you know, the the, the entire process of getting the fund. So I made it a point of duty, you know, on my own to so wait a minute. But when you say that these people, they were getting grants because I've seen this. They announce like, oh, I got this grant. They're always announcing, but they're not sharing the information or the details. Mm -hmm. Like, were you approaching them? Would you um, like, you know, if it's someone online, would you message them and ask, hey, how did you find out? Or did you just figure, like you said, let me just make it my points of duty to just go forward? Okay, well, um, I belong to a lot of groups on Facebook, and when they share their, you know, their success stories, like, oh, I just got a hundred thousand dollar grant, and then people leave comments like, oh, please, how did you get it? How? I there's no response, <laughs> no <laughs> response, yes, yes, no response. So I said, okay, um, let me make it a point. Sorry, my son just wants to. Be <laughs> no, keep him in. We like kids. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, so I, I made it a point of duty to um, do that the research for people and share it you know, to as many people as possible. And as a matter of fact, I have won a couple of those grants before, you know, and then I share them on my channel. I am sure, you know, this is something that has worked for me. And, you know, I verify all the sources before I put them out there on my YouTube channel. Yeah. Well, wait a minute. Let me, let me make sure we clarify here. So XDMC says a wife, well, a brother can dream. Oh wait, never mind. I'm married also. <laughs> So it's a good thing that you said, uh, yeah, a mother, a wife, all of those things, right? So, yeah. you know, everybody's happy to have you here. Philip is saying, welcome. <laughs> Coffee Tech and Talk is saying, hello. And of course, these are- Coffee Talk and Tech. Co what I say? Coffee Tech and Talk. Lord knows. Really? I know. <laughs> so here's the thing. Miss B Finesse is on it. She watched your videos and she says, you have a great vibe <laughs> and she gets you. She's a lifelong learner too. <laughs> And when you watch her channel, she's always, yes. When you watch my vivid, I'm sorry, Miss B Finesse, always she comes from an educational standpoint. Now, Tawana Harris is also an educator. She says, yeah, Miriam. So, you know, they are rooting for you. And JP loves that you put wife and mother first. So many behave as, as, as if those jobs aren't jobs that require skills. <laughs> now, you know, we have all the Nigerians 
uh, share with love TV says, I love her channel. So she's in there chiming in as well. So this is cool. Now we're going to, we're going to move forward with your interview because we want to get to the money. We're going to ignore Phil because he's telling Vivid that in October, Corey's going to chronicle how he had his ankles amputated and he can only wear high top Air Force Ones, Tim boots and Tim boots. <laughs> he's always joking around. So don't mind him. Everybody loves your channel. We are here for it. And the guys are always laughing with each other. So let's move forward. You are the one that finds the money. How, tell us about how you are this free money finder. You're an educator. You know how to do research. Tell us about it. Ooh, well, um, getting this, um, this info to, to um, grants, opportunities is, is a lot of work. It's a lot of work because, yes, because you can't just go to Google and find it. You can't just, you know, and type it on Google and get it right away. Um, so I go extra miles. Um, if I have to pay, then I do that to get um, access to this information. And if you look at um, websites like Grants Watch, you find out that you have to pay to even access any of these grants, you know. But I decided on my own to do everything it takes because honestly, getting the information to all of these grants, you know, takes a lot of sleepless nights. Sometimes I have to sleep at 4 a.m. And I have to shoot, you know, multiple episodes in a day just so that I can um, release these videos, drop these videos before the deadlines, you know, mm -hmm. because most of them have um, deadlines that are approaching pretty, pretty fast, you know. So um, it's so a then, lot of work, you know. How, well, let me ask you this. How mm -hmm. do you keep up? Because like you're saying, Phil is like, you know, I need four grants. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's how we all feel, right? Uh, and Tabi, she's in South Africa. So this is great because I know, yeah, you have info on folks from for grants for people from South Africa. But like you says, like you're saying, this takes a lot of research. So like for over the top WME, she's a content creator. She's a mom. She's a wife. She has a channel. But we don't have time to really pay. We don't have money to pay Grant Watch. Like you're saying, you have to pay to be on Grant Watch to be notified. And so with you, you're just giving us the the all of the info at no cost. And all we have to do is just hop on your channel. I'm going to drop the link for your channel into the chat right now because Entabi is saying free money. Yes, please. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, so um, it's 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 a lot of work, but yeah, um, the the way I keep up is um, you know, because I have a lot of content that I've already prepared on my channel. I'm sure you're aware I have enough content that will last me till 2022. So um, these grants, um, once they come, I shoot the videos, I edit them same day or in 24 hours. Yeah, I know it's crazy, you know, shooting nine videos and editing them in one day is crazy. You know, shooting, so, wait, so do you teach this? Because how do you shoot, edit, um, and post, or not for post, You because you, you schedule them out or you can schedule them out. So you're doing all of these things. And like a lot of people are new YouTubers. They're trying to figure out how to get their schedule together. So, wow, you're yeah. shooting, editing. Oh, but you do have a YouTube masterclass, right? Yes, I do. Yes. Okay, so you do teach this. Okay, so go ahead. Finish telling us how you <laughs> find these grants. Okay. You know, so um, once I get this grant, I create a, you know, a content around it after verifying the sources, you know, and then I try to apply myself as well to see if it's a legit um, site, you know. So once I'm done confirming, I go ahead, create a content around it. I shoot the videos, you know, multiple videos, and then I edit them in 24 hours, you know. And once I'm done with that, I publish, I mean, I upload them on YouTube, but then I, I give it a tag. You know, I just write deadline is September 1st, deadline August 31st, you know, mm -hmm. so I know when to drop them, you know. So ah. the way deadlines August 31st, I drop them each day, you know, just so that people can quickly um, access the information before they elapse. Yeah. So that's what J.A. Smith is saying. He's saying there's there's a bunch of grants out there, but it is tough to navigate. It's so great that Miriam is helping to get the information out there for others. So yeah, thank and J.A. Smith also mm -hmm. says cute kids and puppies are always seen stealers. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> we're all watching the sun. We're like, okay, we're gonna yeah. we're gonna listen, but okay, oh, what is he doing right now? <laughs> we do have a we do have uh something here from JP. She says, Amen. How are you editing so quickly? 
you know, I'm trying to figure out how to pimp Trash Can Waves for his services because Trash Can Waves will edit. He does what you do. You know, he can crank it out and figure it out. You know what I mean? Yes. Yes. It's it's a lot of work. When I first started my channel, it took me about seven hours to edit one video. But I continue to do it consistently. You know, I was able to edit two videos in a day. It was a big deal for me. I'm like, oh my God, I had to call my best friend back in Nigeria. I'm like, TV, if I edited two videos in a day. You know, and then subsequently, I was in school at the time. You know, I was studying for my master's degree. And then in between my schedule, my assignments, my, you know, my crazy workload, being a wife and a mom, you know, I was able to do these things. Like, I, I overstretch myself. Mm -hmm. I'm a hard worker. I know that myself. I outwork everybody, you know, you know, so I was able to, you know, stretch myself a little further, you know, and then I found out that I could actually do it. Yeah. So Got I don't stop when I'm tired. I stop when I'm done. Yeah. You don't stop when you're tired. You stop mm -hmm. when you are done. Yeah. I love yeah. that. Yeah. You know, we have uh, Dr. Hayden in the room saying beautiful smile and great information. Dr. Hayden, thank you for joining us today. Yes, Dr. Hayden, she's one of our first sponsors, guys. She is here for the channel, an amazing woman. Um, and she's been she's been on the channel as well. So we got to get her back as well. So we, these people are here and they're ready to hear about some of the grants that's available to them that you've discovered. And we want to talk about how you have grants specifically for people in South Africa, grants specifically for people that are media content creators. And we got a lot Speaking of, of media content creators, you know, XDMC, he says, did someone say edit? Because that's his wheelhouse, mm -hmm. right? He does commercials and films and works with Marvel and Disney and all the big folks. And so when he heard you say edit, yes, he understands. So definitely, we want to hear what what grants have you found out that are out here? Like I said, let's talk about those grants you, you did specifically. International grants. International grants from South Africa or for people that are into media content, creating or tech. Yes. Um, grants for filmmakers, grants for NGOs, for entrepreneurs, for students. Yes. I also get um, scholarship opportunities on how to study abroad for free. I currently have one on how to study for free in Canada. Yes. And it is still running, it's still on my YouTube channel. So if anyone is interested, go ahead, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, check out my channel and apply ASAP before these deadlines, you know, um, come. Yeah. So, yes, you can actually um, study in Canada for free. <laughs> nice. I love it. So basically, and you give us all the details, how we can, uh, when the deadlines are, all of those things is what you tell us. Yes. Right. Yes. Now, yes. let me ask you about South Africa as well, because, you know, unfortunately, uh, Coffee Talk and Tech says ball guys are seen stealers, too, because, you know, he said the, <laughs> the cute kids. But unfortunately, um, J.A. Smith was like, nah, ball guys create too much light and reflection in the scene. So okay, when don't hate J.A. Don't hate. <laughs> don't hate on the ball guys. Michael, well, you know, Michael Jordan made us cool and we're going to stay cool. <laughs> well, well, here's what I want to also bring up, because we're talking about these international grants. We're talking about, you know the light and the reflection in the scene, you are putting in the work because you are not in Nigeria right now. You are in the sun out there in California shooting these scenes. And you said it's hotter where you are than it was in Nigeria, right? Yes, what? yes, absolutely. Yeah, so- Even the baby agreed. <laughs> I know, right? So yeah, and Mary, speaking of the baby, and Tabi said, hello, Mary, I'm in little cuteness. <laughs> So tell us about, uh, you were saying there's a uh, South African uh, grant also. Yes, um, I have a South African grant I'm coming up on my channel. I already shot the video, I've edited, I've uploaded, I just need to um, publish it. So it's for 80,000 rands for people that are interested, you know, so um, I'll be dropping it on my channel. It's very easy to, very easy, pretty easy and straightforward to, to apply, you know, but it's for South Africans. All you need is um, your residence permit or your um, your citizenship, your passports, you know, and then six months bank statements and you must have opened, established your business for about a year or less, you know. So yeah, it's so it's pretty straightforward and easy to apply for this grant and I'll be dropping it very soon on my channel. So I usually offload the, the videos with um, um, deadlines that are 
fast approaching than videos that are, you know, that still have a bit of time, you know. So yes, I'll be dropping the video in due course on my YouTube channel. I also have um, grant opportunities for people in Uganda, Botswana, Tanzania, Middle East, you know, yeah. So, um, and then wow. people in United States, Canada, UK, I have lots and lots and lots of grants that I'm working on even right now as I speak. Yeah, so um, expect lots and lots and lots of juicy opportunities on my YouTube channel. <laughs> so you, now you say YouTube, but you're also on TikTok. Like you're making yes, I, content uh, everywhere and yes, you're yes. talking about grants. So if we're not here, we can be there, um, you know, on all these different platforms, finding your information. I'll drop the link as well to your TikTok. Look at this, $10,000 grants for women. Uh, let's see, apply for $25,000, grants ASAP, closing soon. One thing that I noticed that you do is you even give us the reminders. Like I've seen where you will come back with a video saying, guys, this one is closing soon. So, you know, don't forget to go ahead and, and go for it. The guys are in there chatting it up, Corey. Phil is like uh, telling J.A. Smith, he saw the ball head in the gold hoop talking about how Michael Jordan saw Phil and that's how he got the inspiration for his bald head. Let me tell you, <laughs> Miriam, your husband has hair, right? I've seen pictures. Does he still have hair? He's not bald. Okay. So I got to ask you this, Miriam. There are a lot of content creators, media content creators here on this channel right now watching you. What type of grants are you going to be talking about on your channel that are for media content creators or tech folks? Yeah, I, I already put out a video for content creator, a grant video for content creators. Yeah, so you can go ahead, go to my channel and, you know, apply for them. I also have grants for filmmakers, you know. Filmmakers. For, yes, yes. I have grants for filmmakers. I'll be dropping all of them um, as soon as possible, you know, on my channel. So, you know, like I said earlier, I have to drop them according to how soon the deadlines are, you know. So please um, stay connected. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend and share, 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 <laughs> share with your friends and loved ones. <laughs> now, let me ask you this. Oh, go ahead. You were going to so ask because um, Over the Top has a question. Go ahead. Okay, well, I will defer to the, the viewers first. I was going to ask. What's the? I know you said eighty thousand rand for the South African grant. I was going to find out what the, that, how that translates in U.S. dollars, <clears throat> and some of the uh, range, the grant ranges, how much, how much some of the grants are for the media content creators. How what would they be awarded? Um, I haven't done the the um, the conversion. And real okay. time, real time, if you watch, you can help with that one too. Well, you know, yeah, yeah, because also, guys, you can always go to Google. Like you can put in oh. to Google like uh, 500,000 Rand to US dollars because the South African currency is Rand. And of course, if you are in Ghana, the, the, the currency is CDs. If you're in Nigeria, what's the currency there? Naira. Um, Naira, yes. You know, and so, and shillings in Kenya. And so it's it's just, Tanzania. yeah, in Tanzania. So over the top says, this is great information. I think she will be a great fit for K Business Podcast. They do talk about similar things. So I wanted to ask you this question. Uh, it, is a podcast something that you have? Because Coffee Talk and Tech is like, Miriam is on every platform. So do you have a website with all the grants offered is what Abby Stalker Mom is asking right now. Um, well, I shared the link in my description for each video. You know, so after watching the video, I, I explained, you know, how to go about the process. And then once you're done, you can go ahead, check out the link to these grants in my description and begin to apply ASAP. You know, yeah. So, yes, I have. Um, the websites for all of the grants. Okay. Got it. So we can go right to your web, to your YouTube channel, basically, because Miss B Finesse, she's the educator. She's telling XDMC she heard that too. Many don't have research skills to know how to look for them, like how to find the specifics, not for just like a big scholarship like the Bill Gates, because that one wouldn't be wise, she says. Mm -hmm. But you are doing the research work for us so that if there's one that comes out for Phil, a $10, $100, or $100, $50 grant for men, mm -hmm. you will be the one to find it, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I have um, grant opportunities um, for as much as 100,000, 180,000 euros. Yeah, so I have, you know, all these videos are gonna be dropping on my YouTube channel very soon. 
Got yeah. it. So the message is clear, everybody. Go to Miriam's YouTube channel, subscribe, and check out her videos on grants because the links to those grants are there. And she's got grants for everyone. And these are grants that she's actually tried the application process. So she's going to tell you how complicated or not complicated the grant applications are. So there's a lot of good content. So head over there when this is over so that you can get your, your next project or some of your part of your life funded by OPP. Now, other people's pocketbooks. speaking of OPP and other people's pocketbooks, is it okay for us to share your Facebook group? Because I know you have a business group, right? For yeah. our Facebook. So yeah. guys, the this is a business mogul Facebook group. So if you're trying to figure out how to get on, this says life is too short to stay broke. So I'm going to drop the link into the chat. So that yeah. way you guys can see this page as well. It's private right now. You see, there's not a lot in there for me to show you. You okay. have to join in order to be able to see all of those things. Trash Can Waves was also checking out, speaking of South Africa, Corey, a movie called The Color of Friendship. So he was letting folks know, you know, where to find it. So, yeah, listen to uh, Phil talking about Miriam. Teach me how to fish, please. Um, <laughs> I don't think that's on there, but we've got a businesswoman you know, on he's here. He's trying to say, like, you know, you give a man a fish. Right. Man. You know, he eats for a day, you teach a person to fish, and they can eat for the rest of their life. That's so, it. That's okay, so she's, all right, not fishing, but teach me how to fish. I got it. Elizabeth is in here, Corey. Where in the world is Elizabeth? Yes. So Elizabeth is also a businesswoman. She would appreciate this information. So definitely, Elizabeth, check everything out. Elizabeth, her channel, on her channel, she shows how she's currently building in Ghana, and she has lots of videos there in Ghana, but... She's all over. So she might be traveling and she never tells where she is, which is why Corey sings that. Mm -hmm. So we are talking about uh, grants for everyone. I say we get right into the final hashtag. Start getting into the final hashtag for the day. Let's hashtag our channel name. Oh, the channel name. So do you want us to do Chassis Everything or Miriam Adipoju? Which one would you prefer, Miriam? Miriam Adipoju. All right. So we're going to... Uh, Get Miriam Adepoju. Let me put that on the screen so that you guys know how to spell it, how to hashtag it, and all of those good things. And while we're doing that, Miriam, can you let Oh, us wait. I don't even have her last name spelled. Oh, it's scrolling at the bottom of the screen. Mm -hmm. YouTube, Miriam Adepoju. Go ahead, so go ahead. Hashtag Miriam Adepoju. What are, what are three tips you can give people when it comes to grant writing to make sure that they uh, have as much success as possible? Wait. Baby said, wait. <laughs> oh, I know. Say that again, Corey. The question. The question was, what are some tips that you can give to people that are looking to write a grant so they can be as successful as possible? What what things can you tell them they need to be, be have prepared to be aware of? Um, my advice for people that want to yeah. apply for grants. Yes. I would say, I would say um, <laughs> if you're a business owner, just get your business registered. I, well, some grants don't even require that. They just ask, how long have you been in business? You know, mm. but I would advise that, you know, just get your business registered if you have a business, a running business. Um, and then um, make sure that you have a bank account that is in the name of your business. And just just in case, you can also prepare a, a one minute video, you know, you know for um, presenting or asking, I mean, applying for these grants, you know, just create a video, a one minute video. Um, requesting for grants but don't specify any name because you're going to be using the same video for uh, you know so many grants yeah so i i usually prepare um oh wait a minute so what you're saying is and so you're answering one thing and i have another question on top of that because i think you're answering this ja smith said can people apply for multiple grants and what you're saying is create one video that's like a general video that you can use for multiple grants and it will service, you know, and, and that way it kind of gives them the information. Give us, please, the details of what should go into that one minute video, because JP is asking, do you post grants that aren't location related or listed separately somewhere by locations? And definitely she has all grants there. Some of them are specifically for locations like Canada or whatever, South Africa, South Africa. and then some of them, the thumbnail will actually say, grants for everyone, you know? So tell us about- What content should go in that one minute grant video? The one minute video. And I'm gonna put your name on the screen while you tell us what to put into that video so people know how to put hashtag your name 
for the final giveaway. Okay. Um, so you um, start by introducing yourself, you know, tell tell us about your business, you know, I'm into this. What informed your decision? You know, who are the people that will benefit from your business? What do you have a passion for? You know, do you serve women, children? You know, what, what's the cost? behind your your business for me i'm a fashion designer at the same time and i try to also list that um, because i am launching my ready to wear very soon so yes i'm providing job opportunities for people that'll be working for me at the same time you know so you can add that to it you know who are the people that you say what are the people that um also stand to gain from your business you know um, and if you're also supporting a cost through your business, you can go ahead and, and add it as well. That okay, this giving me this grant. Once I get this grant, you know, it will enable me to support X and Y. And even if it's for your family, you can put it that way. You can you you, you can itemize it that okay, this this helps me to um, support my family financially, you know, and then my kids can have better education, they can go to school, they can feed well, they can, you know, just state those, you know, those facts in your video in your one minute presentation it could be a 30 seconds you can prepare to depending and all not all these grants actually require a video clip you know so but just in case you can prepare a 30 seconds clip and a one minute video you know itemizing what you your business is about why you started your business who are the people that stand to benefit from your business who are your who is your business serving you know so yeah that would give you an so I have a, I have a question because you've said like put in or whatever, like you're a fashion designer. That's why I pulled up this particular picture. I know that uh, this might be one of your creations. Is yes, this something? I made, I made all the outfits on my page, on my right. You made all of them, yes. Mm -hmm. So what you're saying is, you know, put the general details about what you do, about, about your family. If you have a family this way, if you are applying for a grant that supports personal interests, you can have that on there as well. Yes. Uh, this is just great because you're giving us all the details of what to put into a one minute or a 30 second video, our name, our interests, our professional interests, our personal interests, so that it can service all of the grants that, and like you said, not all grants require a video. So if it does, you will always be, stay, you'll stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So Corey, there's more clothes of her. There's her and her daughter. She's got the fashions that she created. <laughs> this is just good stuff. I did put your Instagram in there. So I say we get, oh, Corey, what were you going to ask? I was going to say, and keep in mind, those of you are watching, a lot of these grants, you don't have to be a nonprofit. When people get grants, they think you have to be a nonprofit or a non-government organization. You get There are grants for people that have for-profit businesses, mm -hmm. people that are looking for education grants, travel grants, there are all sorts of grants that are out there. You don't have to be a nonprofit to actually be, be take advantage of some of those. Exactly. And if you aren't a nonprofit, if there's a grant you want to apply for that you aren't a nonprofit, there's always a ways to get into fiscal sponsorship. But that's another story for another day. Right. Hey, JP is saying beautiful craftswomanship. She was looking at, you know, your designs there and she's like, wow, this is good stuff. Uh, so we also have Unique View in there saying hello all. Hey, Unique View in the house. Yes, Unique View. Make sure you do what My Vivid Life has done. She's one of the sponsors for this week and she put in hashtag Mariam Adepoju because Mariam has several channels. Uh, her main one, your her YouTube channel gives you all the details on grants. All right. So we're talking about grants for everyone, free money for everyone. You don't have to be a nonprofit. Emerge Daily Dosages. Glad to have you here. Got it in there. I saw you in the chat earlier, but look, you got yours in there. So this is great. Uh, Miss B. Finesse is talking about the bonnet game because <laughs> uh, Trash Can Waves was saying something in there. Talking about plus bonnets, a man's dream. Crocs plus bonnets. <laughs> so let's get into this uh, giveaway, right? You are on all the places, right? The TikTok, the Instagram, the Facebook, you've got your YouTube masterclass, you're everywhere, right? But you will shout out the next person, and, and you're a mother, so we already said that. In addition to all of these things, you're a mother, a wife, an entrepreneur. So, Corey, uh, over the top is like, Corey is on it. You are staying on top of things. Uh, Abby Stalker mom has been singing uh, Into the Road the whole time we've been in here. Why? <laughs> <laughs> she was listening to it. That's why. She was listening to it. But so All no those times, baby, that you went out and you were with other guys, I knew about it. I just didn't care. But that's why you found your size flat when you came out the club that night. 
<laughs> Sanovia is saying she's a savvy businesswoman. This is this is just good stuff. So we're ready for the giveaway because you're going to shout us out on the platform of your choice, probably Instagram, because your YouTube is already done to 2022, just about. So let's see who's going to win this. What were you going to say, Corey? So the way we're going to do this, Marion, is I'm going to count to three. And after I count to three, you're going to say, show me the money in Yoruba, your, lang your native language in Nigeria. We babies, kids. We don't die. We multiply. You that know who said that? Trash <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so when I count to three, you'll say, show me the money in Yoruba, and then we'll start the drawing process. Are you ready, Mariam? Yes, I am. <laughs> All, right, you ready to All right. I'm ready. I think I'm ready. Yes. One, two, three. Um, if you're with you, homie. If you, well, you know what? Let me not even try right, it. Say just, it one more time, and I'll just let you say it. Go, one, Corey. One, two, three. If you will, yeah, homie. All right. Mr. Riley's World, Trash Can Waves, Abby, Miss B Finesse, Buff Bill, Trash Can Waves, JP, My Vivid Life, Abby Stalker Mom, Trash Can Waves, JP, Trash Can Waves, Mr. Riley's World, JP, My Vivid Life, Trash Can Waves, David Hunt, Miss B Finesse. Hey, Finesse. Woo! This is great. She finessed her way into a win today. So Miss B Finesse is going to get a shout out. Yeah. Out of yes. on her next Instagram post. Let me tell you, she is a YouTuber. Miss B Finesse is growing. She's Ooh. only been on YouTube like uh, less than three months. Okay, less than three months. And Miss B Finesse could really use the shout out. So I'm sure she is happy about that. She's in there saying, hey. <laughs> hey guys, don't forget, if you're a new YouTuber, you're trying to get your channel to grow, check out Mary's YouTube Masterclass. It's a one-stop shop with Miriam Adepoja. You can get your fly African drip on. You can get your YouTube class on, you can get your grant right now so that when you get funded, you can look good and your YouTube channel will be popping. Yes, all of that. So now people are in here, you know, congratulating her. And uh, Wow is saying, Woo, congrats, it's not rigged no more because the lady won. Yeah, <laughs> hey, 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 hey. yes, Abby Stalker Mom is in there saying, Yay, congrats, Miss B Finesse. So is my vivid life. And she's saying, I literally saying, I literally said, I'm going to win. She, she's been on, she's only been on YouTube two months. So this is just great. We got a t shirt, Tawana Harris, in there. Just she just put a hashtag. I think she was trying to say congratulations or type in the hashtag, but you know. When you're sneaking in at work, things don't happen right. <laughs> so, <they> come. <laughs> <laughs> see what them bonnets and crocs will do for you? Won't you do it? That's trash can waves telling her. <laughs> That's what worked for her. Emerge Daily Dosages is congratulating her. We've got everybody in there laughing and congratulating. Oh, she's at the mailbox uh, pulling up at the house yelling, hey, she's happy. <laughs> David, David Hunt. He says it's still rigged because he did. Didn't he win last week? He won something last week. <laughs> you know what? Yes. Thank you, JP, for being a good sport. We're going to move into our plant-based treat, and we are going to hear from you. Uh, wait, J.A., see how the guys do? J.A. Smith talking about congrats, Mr. Riley's world. <laughs> the men are trying to congratulate the men. Anyways, we want to hear about your food. What fruits and vegetables have you had today? Because I know you are a proponent of good food and whole food. Oh, yes. yeah. thanks. Um, today, I'm yet to have anything, but I'm planning to have some celery and grapes. Yes. Oh, it's very early for you. So, yes. Uh, oh, look, look. Now he's talking about, oh, I met Miss B. Finesse. <laughs> So, okay, celery and grapes. And Kide Mshaba, Mshaba TV says, hi, host, and new here. Welcome, Kide Mshaba. Glad to have you here. Get Make on the home team. Make sure you subscribe and hit that like button. And subscribe to Miriam. I'm going to drop her YouTube channel into the link one more into the uh, chat one more time so that if you guys have not found it yet, you can get to find out about all of these grants. This is the place to be. Don't miss it. So, Miriam, this has been so wonderful having you on our channel today. Uh, look at David. Congrats, XDMC. You know what? I, I got you. She was she was supposed to say who got food, uh, Abby. Don't worry. We're getting to the food because we got food for you today. So, Miriam, we're going to see you soon. And Coffee Talking Tech is going to get his lunch. And uh, we'll see you soon. All right. Any any final words? Um, well, I just want to wish everybody the very best of luck as you apply, you know, for these grants opportunities on my channel. Um, 
go ahead and tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. Let's allow this juicy info. So thank you so much for joining us today. I appreciate it. And thank you so much for having me, Blind Guy, his wife, their life. Life. Oh. You know, thank you for joining us. And we're going to ask if you can just hang out in the green room and we'll talk to you as soon as this broadcast is over as we get ready to shift into our plant based treat of the day. All right. Thank you, Mary. And we'll see you soon. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Bye bye for now. Mr. Riley's World Corey, so far he had a breakfast sandwich and he plans to eat his grapes later on this morning. Now, and Mr. Riley, are you eating the grapes? Or are you drinking the grapes? You know what? It's, <laughs> it's early. It's not five o'clock. He's on the West Coast with Miriam. So, yeah. You know, rally, rally, wally, wally, all that rhymes, you know. <laughs> I know, right? Phil is mad he didn't win. He's about to subscribe to Blood, Blind Thugs, His Tricks, Nightlife. <laughs> uh. <laughs> anyway, Miss B Finesse is still excited. So, look, let's get into it, guys. Oh, and Abby's asking what type, like what type of grapes, probably. So David Hunt is looking at the apple on his desk. David, looking at we have a recipe for you. Don't laugh at him. Uh, vivid, my vivid life. Hey, black butterfly is in here. Black butterfly, butterfly, do the butterfly. All right. We're ready for the what? Plant-based treat. It's time for today's plant-based treat by Chef Laquita Marie. I would think it would be bland and... No taste at all, but this is very, has a great flavor. I mean, what spices did you use? I mean, easy, cheesy, vegan mac. <laughs> this was good too. Ooh, it's cheesy. <laughs> okay. And see if, um, <laughs> All right, so no matter what, you just get some orange and white root vegetables or vegetables so that it takes on the color of macaroni and cheese. You got your yellow and white squash there. There's yellow squash, butternut squash, bulb of garlic. And this is what the butternut squash looks like. You can get it frozen. We use the whole head of cauliflower, some chopped up garlic, and three onions. Time we added four Goya packets and, and bouillon paste. Add one cup of water and let the vegetables cook until they get soft and tender. Once the vegetables get soft, add the cauliflower and let everything get really soft. Add four or five slices of non-dairy gouda and provolone. They melt and they're creamy. Stir it up and let it get really creamy. To me, you can't taste the vegetables. It just tastes like good flavored food. Taste it and see if it needs salt or seasoning. Two 12 ounce boxes of noodles. No broccoli this time. Hope you make it. We love it. All right, guys. All right, I'm just guys. laughing at you guys in the comments. Oh my goodness. This food, guys, it's delicious. We took it to a party, as you saw, two different parties. The first person giving the reviews was uh, ecstatic about it. Everything on that plate was plant-based. Stuffed bread, uh, plant-based meatballs with the barbecue sauce on them. What else was on there, Corey? The broccoli mac. Just good food. That's all I remember. Yeah, yeah, I made a chicken fried rice yesterday. Chicken fried rice, air quotes over the chicken. Uh, we was good too. It was, yeah. had a nice garlicky flavor going. Mm -hmm. Mr. Riley's World was saying just green grapes from Costco is what he had because, you know, Abby Stalker Mom, because remember yesterday, um, um, Abby Stalker Mom asked about the grapes because yesterday Mr. Billups, Martin Billups and Martin's Famous Oils was eating and he was showing us how to get free money, free interest-free loan from Kiva. So go back and look at that video for that information. Oh yeah, free interest-free loans. But he was eating muscadine grapes from right outside of his home on a tree and he lives in our area so we will definitely be getting some free grapes from him mm -hmm. soon look at trash can where he's talking about is that Corey? no you know y'all know we're trying to keep his check Corey can't see that was not him in the video was I doing? eating that macaroni when emily was feeding lance the macaroni <laughs> what was that doing <laughs> that wasn't you oh okay. he was like oh was that Corey?" so liz Biddy was looking at the food saying yes and phil claims he's gonna have some grapes from blind guy his wife by way of yesterday's guest <laughs> <laughs> we'll share with you we'll share some of those muscadine grapes thank you my vivid life says she sees we have a new image on up there on the top. Love it. You know, my sister created 
that was our first logo. So I still use it. The blind guy, his wife, their life. Uh, she created that on Canva. She did not know how to use Canva. So I'm like, I got to big up my sister. We always keep that one in the um, in the pocket. Uh, Corey talking about me in prison. I think I seen him on Oz and G.I. Joe. You didn't see me on G.I. Joe or in Oz, but you did see PWJ because that character Snake Eyes, the all black <laughs> ninja, that all his eyes were black, that was designed after PWJ. You know what? <laughs> Let me tell you. And look, Trash can't wait to my stir it up, stir it up. <laughs> Click the green coffee cup. Click, 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 click. Mm -hmm. We're gonna we're gonna get out of here, guys. It's been great have, uh, saying welcome to the weekend, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. But I'm with over the top. If you think this will be great for your kids, I'm telling you, you'll be surprised. They love it. The adults love it. It's a crowd pleaser, and you can make it with or without the broccoli because there are already so many vegetables in there. So. I use this as a cheese sauce or a cream sauce for a number of different things. So definitely macaroni and cheese, go for it. And I think I do put more than three or four slices of cheese in there too. Um, I think I said three or four, but y'all know my measurements. Put more yeah. in there. You'll enjoy it. Uh, what did he say? Thank you for saying yum and my vivid life. Uh, Emerge Daily Dosa just says, wow, looks yummy. It was. And Phil talking about, I want to be ecstatic too. <laughs> <laughs> Now, look, Trash Can't Wait said, Corey got a twin. Uh, oh. oh, no. Okay, Trash Can't came for me like that. <laughs> uh, JP says. That's and, why I don't wait. That, that's not a wave. That's not waves. That's a wig. You got one of Steve Harvey two pays on this. You waved up. Boom. <laughs> Another great stream and chat from my favorite family on YouTube. Thank you, JP. Thank we'll you see you much. in these YouTube streets. And yes, we will keep our spirit up. He says, uh, this is the only veggie I'm going to eat. You know what? Poor trash can waves. We got to get you in there. It is good, me, Miss B Finesse. And JP is saying, Trash can waves, uh, you should sing it in a Bob Marley voice. Stir it up. You know, stir, stir it, it up. up. Little darlings, copyright. Trash I know, right? Corey says your street name is Harmony. <laughs> I know over the top WME, I've got to get the recipe out there. Let me get that done. The cookbook is coming. That's another thing that's in the work. So, yes, we have it on the way. And we actually have the one of the ladies in the in the video. Her mom is a publisher. We're working with her currently. So thank you for that reminder. Yes, David Hunt is telling you guys to enjoy the weekend. How do we get out of here? We're gonna get out of here by since Miriam Adepoju is speaks Yoruba. She's from Nigeria. She is Yoruba. Please Nigeria. don't try to speak uh, Yoruba for it and mess it up. I'm going to not mess it up. Okay. It's a song that was taught to us by Ia Tutu down in Florida of Oishi oh, Rishi right. African folklore. I'm only gonna sing the first line because I'm not gonna mess the rest of it up. The cookbook is coming. I know, my favorite life. <laughs> you ready? Okay, I'm ready. Edo Pulani, Odabo, Odabo.